Hello, welcome to a new episode of uh, SketchUp for us, SketchUp.us. Uh, today we'll uh, talk about uh, gears. Uh, they, they are actually very important uh, for people which uh, likes to do some mechanical part. For 3D printing, I'm playing a lot with uh, those, uh, especially if you have kids, uh, will be a good exercise for them and uh, it's quite fun actually. So, uh, in order to understand how uh, those uh, gearboxes they are uh, created, uh, we need to understand uh, actually the principle behind. So, uh, let's uh, let's have a quick uh, look on the uh, internet. That that will be the first thing which I strongly recommend. Prior to start something, just look uh, look for it uh, and uh, you know, in the worst case, Google it. But look a little bit about. Uh, how the things are created. That, that is give you a background. So um, in this particular case when you want to uh, create a gear, of course uh, you click on gear and you're gonna find things like this. But those will not tell you exactly how the gear is constructed. Now for uh, people which are involved in the mechanics uh, and uh, you know engineer, mechanical engineer and so on, um, they know there are a lot of uh, uh, not a lot of description, a lot of things about those gears, you know. So uh, uh, one uh, important thing is uh, the circular pitch. So if we click circular pitch, you'll find more about those uh, gears, you know. And you have uh, also different descriptions, uh, what is important over there, and again, the easiest way is to go to the image and you have a lot of uh, information about that. Um, again, you can uh, look to this one, uh, it's a very complex word, nom nomenclature, and uh, again, it's showing you how those things, uh, basically how the gearbox is created. And for people who like to do a little bit more in-depth research, Again, you can uh, go online and you'll find more. Uh, I will not insist on this one, I will just make a simple uh, gearbox. But you need to get familiar with those descriptions here. You know, the circular pitch, which is the distance between the, the dents of the gear, uh, you know, the work depth, the, the size, the pitch circle, which is the tangent between the gears and opinions and so on. So again, uh, go uh, go online, take a look and uh, you'll find more about it. So let's uh, let's start a new one. So we, we just go as usually Control N or uh, Command N on Mac and uh, you, you, we're gonna create uh, basically a new gearbox. So here is how it's done. Now for uh, people which are knowing a little bit about geometry we need to understand that if I'll draw a circle, actually, first of all, if I'll draw a circle, I need to know the length of the circle. And the length of the circle is actually the radius multiplied by 2 pi. So, um, what is it, why is that important? It is important is because uh, if I'll divide the length per the number of the, how many dents we have, I will need to have the same length for the other circle. So in this particular case, I would like to draw a circle. All right, so let's uh, start building, building our gear. So first of all, we need to draw a circle. Uh, we need to pay attention always the sides here to be 60. Yeah, So always you click 60 and uh, the radius is gonna be one. So that is our first gear. Uh, the second one, we said we need to have the same proportion, so let's draw a line from here and uh, the length of the line was 0.6666. The reason why is because we're supposed to keep the proportion. So when we're going to draw the circle again, we need to change the sides. The second one, we said it's only 40. And now we can draw the second uh, gear box. So, what we did, if we are looking here, we made a small box, a small circle, um, which has got the same length of the side with the bigger one. As you can see, this distance here and this distance here, just to draw the radius, 
those ones are similar. The reason why is because the bigger uh, circle was divided in a higher number, 60, and the small one had only 40. So therefore, the length of that segment of the arch is the same. It's extremely important because we want to have the, the length of the dent of the gear the same. So here is how that was done and now we're gonna start constructing our uh, dent itself. So uh, the easiest way is to start offsetting the, the box, let's say 0 0.05 inside in this one, in the same way 0 0.05. And if you want to go even outside, again, 0.1 and the other one as well, 0.1, okay? Uh, I will draw also the lines between them as well. So that is the common line. And now if we can start drawing a line from here to here, we're gonna draw the first dent here. And for the small circle, we'll draw a line from here to here. So basically, if I will draw from here to here, and let's take the middles, yeah? Middle and middle, same thing on the other side from the middle to the middle, or on the edge, doesn't really matter, basically. My intention was to divide this in half and half, and we're gonna delete, we're gonna erase whatever we don't need. We don't need this, we don't need this, we don't need this. So this is the first dent of the first gear. And again, we can delete the things which we don't need. Again, we don't need this one. And this is the dent of the second gear, the small ones. And we don't need those things. We can delete it as well. So here it is. Now we just need to multiply those dents for uh, both of the gears. And again, we can just double click on this one here. And we're gonna rotate it with the copy from here. And now we need to skip a point. You know, if I will put it here, that was for the first one. Now I will skip the point. Uh, again, we have also around 12 degrees. The reason why is because we have uh, 30 uh, dents because it was 60 segments. Now I'm skipping one, it's only half, so therefore I'll have 30 of those. Um, and I suppose to multiply that by 30. Ah, let's, uh, let's go back a little bit. So double click, you rotate it. Oops, make sure it's in the center. And you made a copy. And you make sure it's here. And you multiply that by 30. And there, there you go. You got this multiplied. And we'll do the same thing for the other ones. But remember this time, uh, that was only we have only 40 pieces so we'll take it from here with the copy and we'll skip one of the segments here and multiply you click X and 40 or 39 it depends how many copies we want to do one it's already there so we have a double of the copy so here it is those are our um, gearboxes so you can start uh, dressing up a little bit uh, those uh, gearboxes let's uh, draw some uh, small uh, circles you know, say 0.5 keep the dimensions you can uh, also draw the center one like 0.1 and that is actually the connection on the axis on the shaft 0.6 saying and again you can uh, play with this one do whatever you like to do most of the uh, gearboxes they usually have some uh, internal uh, uh, 
circles which are cutting they are cut from uh, inside of the circle uh, just to keep the weight of the material and so on so you can uh, uh, draw something like this another one like that you can uh, multiply it if you want uh, again with a copy you can just rotate it if I want uh, let's say five of them uh, should be 72 degrees why 72 is 360 divided by 5 and again multiply by 4 and you here here you go you have uh, many of those so again you can uh, you can play with this you can do whatever uh, you like to add more uh, more stuff to your gears and again you can uh, clean them up a little bit if you like also erasing those areas here because you don't need it anymore and when you're gonna extrude your uh, gear face you'll be able to have uh, one object and again extrude it uh, the whole uh, the whole gear in one shot so again uh, you can uh, enjoy uh, this uh, tutorial you see exactly how all those things they were done uh, it's pretty fun think about the geometry and also the relationship between different uh, gears uh, and again you can uh, make these components and uh, some animations as well so this is how the things they were done it's extremely important to know the proportion between the arch length uh, basically a circle and divide it on, on a certain number of segments and should be the same proportion with the other gearbox because the length of the dent should be the same all right hopefully you like it feel free to subscribe and more videos are coming thanks